Bruno Fernandes reveals the secret move that changed everything. As Menu's incredible Goncacho gesture revealed, Bruno Fernandes has revealed the secret behind his star turn as a centre-back in Manchester United's dramatic FA Cup win over Liverpool. He used to play in defence for his youth team in Portugal. United were left with only two defenders on the pitch in extra time after manager Eric Ten Hag had taken off Aaron Wan-Bissaka, Rafael Varane and Victor Lindelof as he tried to turn the tie around. It meant that Fernandes dropped into defence alongside Harry Maguire as an emergency centre-back for the rest of a classic encounter as United came back to win 4-3. However, the 5 feet 10 in midfielder revealed that he used to play there for FC Infesta under 9 seconds, a junior club in Madisonos northwest of Porto. His coach Sergio Marx used Fernandes as a centre-back in the big games and let him dominate the midfield when the opposition wasn't as strong. I do what's needed to win games, said Fernandes of the unusual switch. I don't mind. It wasn't in the plan. It was trying to go man-marking on the pitch, but I felt at moments I could jump on their midfielders and at moments I could drop a little bit to help H because obviously Liverpool have a lot of pace up front. Dakbo came on and he was fresh. H hasn't played for a long time, so I was there to help him and the defenders to get a result. I don't mind, but when I'm far away from the goal, I can't get my goals and assists. But they can't score anyway because I was a center half in my early career, so I still got something from that. Fernandes has his critics, but the 29-year-old's commitment is clear from a remarkable appearance record. Last season, the former Sporting Lisbon star played more minutes than any player in world football, 60-71 across 70 appearances for United and Portugal. This season, he has played in 38 of United's 40 games so far. Fernandes credits it to his family upbringing in the industrial city of Maia. He lived in a modest first-floor apartment in Gafies, a district on the outskirts of town with his father Jose, mother Virginia, elder brother Rodrigo and younger sister Sarah. I just have to be grateful for my father and my mom because they made me the right way, the strong way," added Fernandes, who hopes to shake off a dead leg to be fit for Portugal's games against Sweden and Slovenia during the international break. They've been here for the last two games and they give me that extra energy with my kids and my wife. They always take care of me. My wife does a great job at home to give me as much rest as I can. It's difficult when you have two kids at home and they want to play. My youngest one wants to play football all the time, but I get my rest, my naps, everything I need because she's there to help me. Part of this record is my family. After a memorable win over Liverpool, Fernandes will lead United out at Wembley in the FA Cup semi-final against Coventry City next month hoping to return there for the final in May having lost out to Manchester City last season. In other news, what Kabi Mainu did after Ahmed Dilo's match winner for Manut proved his mentality is unrivaled. He oozed class. Kabi Mainu oozed pure class with his reaction after fan footage emerged of what the Manchester United star did following Ahmed Dilo, sensational winner against Liverpool. Eric Ten Hag's men will be heading to Wembley next month after Manchester United dumped Liverpool out of the FA Cup quarterfinals in an exhilarating 4-3 win. Kabi Mainu played a starring role in the victory at Old Trafford on Sunday, with the United star impressing with a dominant midfield performance in the first half. The 18-year-old Red Devils midfielder has had a superb campaign at the club after his prominent emergence in the first team under United manager Eric Ten Hag. Mainu was withdrawn in the 80th minute and was replaced by Christian Eriksen, with the Stockport-born player forced to watch the rest of the match from the bench. Only five minutes after Mainu's substitution, Ahmed Dilo came off the bench and replaced veteran defender Rafael Varane as a key tactical change from Ten Hag. Anthony, who also came off the bench for United, found an important late equalizer in regular playing time to send the FA Cup quarter-final clash to extra time. Mainu's reaction to Dilo's winner, Manchester United and Liverpool ended regular playing time with a 2-2 scoreline, before Harvey Elliott put the Reds back in the lead in the first half of extra time. However, the Red Devils rallied back in the second half of extra time as Marcus Rashford, who missed a clear-cut chance in regular playing time, scored for United. Ahmed Dilo then played a key role in the winner for United, with the Red Devils' wonder kid dispossessing Harvey Elliott before launching his side's counterattack. The 21-year-old Ivory Coast International played the ball to Alejandro Garnacho on the counter before receiving it back during United's counter from Liverpool's corner. Dilo took the ball past Connor Bradley before producing a superb finish to beat Keenan Keller and seal a 4-3 victory for United in a thrilling FA Cup win. Fan footage of Dilo's winner was uploaded on social media platform TikTok, 
with the Old Trafford faithful erupting into a spine-tingling celebration. Dilo and his United teammates celebrated in front of the fans, but eagle-eyed supporters also spotted Kabi Mainu's reaction to Dilo's winner. Mainu was the first United player off the bench and sprinted down the sideline to reach Dilo and congratulate his Red Devils teammate on his stunning finish. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to smash the like button and make sure to subscribe to Man United Hub to get all the latest updates. Get all the